Hello and welcome. In this tutorial series, we're going to learn how to validate an Angular form from a Spring REST backend. So the form itself is basically an HTML form that has been styled with Bootstrap. In the backend, each of these fields has been assigned some validation rules that if violated, an error message will be displayed. For example, if a user tries to submit an empty form, they'll get the following validation error messages. And say, if a user enters an invalid email address, they'll get the following. Also for this phone number, if a user enters a number that is not what we specified in the backend, as you can see here, they'll also get a validation error message. And suppose we want to create some kind of a user that already exists in the backend, or just fill in this form like this. Then you get the following message, a user with this email address already exists. And if we try to create a user that does not exist, like so, and then we get the following. Congratulations, your account was created and the form has been resetted. So one of the advantages of having a server side validation is that it does some of the things that a front end validation logic can hardly do. Suppose, for example, we want to check whether a user already exists or not. Such a thing can only be done in the back end. So it's always a good idea to incorporate both the client side validation along with the server side validation. If, for example, some bad guy succeeds to bypass your front end validation logic and the server side is not validated, then the person might do a lot of damage to your software. This tutorial, however, will focus only on the server side validation. You are free to take this to a different level and add the client side validation logic to this form. With that said, let's go ahead and start coding this application from scratch. Please encourage me by hitting on the like and the subscribe button. 